Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Capricorn. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of February 22nd through the 28th, okay? We're just going to see what comes up for Capricorn for this week. What do we have for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? Indecision. Indecision. So it looks like you have a choice to make. You have a choice to make. You want to go this way or you want to go that way? Either way, both paths, there is an unknown uh, path. It's, it's an unknown outcome. So I do believe that, you know, there's some fear of the unknown here. You don't know which path to choose. I feel like there's definitely two choices and there's you know, either way, it's unclear. It's unclear as to which path you should go down. So this week, you are probably dealing with some indecision. You are at that crossroads right now where you have to make a choice. You know, do I, do I go this way or do I go that way? So right now, you are probably uh, reflecting on your choices and on a choice that you need to make. Um, there's definitely a lack of clarity here, and I feel like you're really unsure, you know, not knowing, you know, what the outcome is going to be. So I think that you're probably in a difficult position. Um, so you may be seeking guidance from within. You may need to go within to really think about what path you really want to go down. Um, so that's probably where you're at right now. You know, it's a level of indecision. Which way do I go? There's definitely two options here. And it's not easy not knowing what the outcome is going to be. So you may be in a place of anxiety. There we go. There's an unclear and difficult path ahead by the looks of things. Cracked cup dissatisfaction with life gong an exciting event so there is going to be an event this week that may give you some insight as to which path you are going to go down there is some dissatisfaction with your life i think your life has been unsatisfactory for a while okay and it's probably there's some sort of brokenness here and it feels like it's beyond repair. At this point, it's time for something new. It's time to uh, go out and get something new or do something new. This can't be repaired. It's, it's not repairable by the looks of things. You know, this is something that is broken that can't be fixed. Okay, now you need to just go get, go, go, go get a new one. You know, you got to go do something new. Um, there is going to be an event Okay, it's interesting that that path leads to dissatisfaction. This path leads to excitement. So it's interesting. You you have to now. It's interesting that the that the exciting path is on the right. So perhaps it's all about doing the right thing. So maybe you have to make a a decision as to what is right for everybody involved. And maybe you have to remove yourself from the situation. Maybe you have to remove your ego. And do what's right for everybody involved. Anyhow, there's an exciting, exciting event that is going to happen, okay? Uh, let's see what we got. What do we have with these cards for Capricorn? But the choice is always yours. This is a choice. You can choose to go back to that life where things are a mess. Or you can choose to go down another path. The choice is yours. You're at that position right now where you have to make the choice. Over here, it's, it's a messy. Okay? Over here, there's excitement. But you're going to have to choose. Do you, do you want a new life? Because remember I said doing something new? Or do you want to go back to that dissatisfaction that you have been living in for so long? The choice is yours. Capricorn. You may be facing a roadblock. 
you may be facing a roadblock this week, you know, and you know, you're forced. It feels like you're forced to choose. Ooh, wounded. So there's some sort of wounding here. This is a wounded warrior that is, you know, wanting to fight for something. This is a card of strength and perseverance and determination. I feel like you may be in defense mode. You may feel like you need to defend yourself. I feel like you have a lot of experiences behind your back and you're in fight. This it feels like you're in fight mode. You know, this is like, you know, you, you, you just keep on, you know, I'm going to fight again. I'm going to do it 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 again. But you keep on getting hurt. Oh, oh God. I do believe there's going to be a fight. If not, if there hasn't been one already, this is somebody that is highly competitive that is losing their ground. Okay. The seven of seven of wands in reverse is admitting defeat. It's being taken off out of your position, taken, taken down. Somebody could be taken down, uh, losing ground. Um, I do believe that there's going to be some sort of fight or competition or, uh, a need to surrender. It could be giving up. Um, seven, seven of wands reverse. There's been some sort of strong competition here. There has, we have somebody here that has a wounded warrior mentality and they just want to fight. They want to fight, 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 fight. Whoever this person is may want to take somebody down, you know, and maybe it's because they're wounded. They may have a wounded ego or something like that. I think that you need to turn your back on fighting, turn your back on fighting because there's some sort of uh, stepping down, being taken down. Somebody is being taken down by, I don't know what, maybe somebody's been, this is somebody that is very combative that is wanting to win, definitely wanting to win, not wanting to give up their position, but it feels like, it feels like they're gonna be giving up their position with that seven of wands reversed. Now this is about walking away, needing to walk away. This is not fighting, giving up the fight or an extreme situation. It could be an extreme competition. Somebody could get hurt. Magician, so the magician is a card of manifestation. As above, so below. This is about shedding the old to bring in the new. This is about creating that new life. This is an opportunity, is a golden opportunity to create a new life on this side. It's interesting. On this side, we have somebody here that wants to fight all the time. And therefore, they've been dissatisfied with their life up until now. They've been in a constant defense position. You know, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight, I'm going to fight. And it's caused a lot of dissatisfaction. That's over on this side. Okay, this is a need to surrender. It is. Over here, there's an opportunity for success. There's an opportunity for emotional fulfillment. There's an opportunity for stability. But you have to go down that path. This is about being willing to shed the old to bring in the new. But this is somebody that is highly, highly, highly competitive, that has been hurt many, many, many times, That is, that, and their ego is in a position where they want to win. So this is if somebody that's ego is blocking them, because this is some sort of blockage, it's a roadblock. Somebody's ego is blocking them from success. But this is the power. This is the power and the resources and finding the tools within yourself to create a new life. So you have the opportunity, it's a golden opportunity right now to create a new life. But you have to go down the path, the right path. Okay, it's on the right side. You have to go down the right path. You have to choose to go down the right path. You have to be willing. You have to be willing to shed the old to bring in the new. So we have somebody here that is in the process. They're going to be making a choice this week. 
in regards to their previous wounds. This is somebody's previous wounds that is blocking them from success. This person has been fighting their whole life, and fighting has bought, brought dissatisfaction. Now, this is somebody who wants to prove, wants to prove that they can win, wants to prove that they're in a top position. But I feel like they're not really in that position because there's a lot of people or energies working against them. Anyhow, magician. Lovers. So this is, lovers reverse is a separation. Now this is about shedding the old, an old partnership. Now this partnership could be anybody. This it could be a lover, could be a family member, could be a friend. This is a separation, it's a disharmony, it's a disconnection, it's a detachment, it is the end of a contract. We do have a contract that is ending in your near future. Okay, there's a contract that is ending with somebody that you're not compatible with. Okay, and I feel like you are going to be um, creating a new life for yourself. Knight of Wands. Now, the Knight of Wands is act now, think later. It's a very fast, lusty energy. Something happening very, very fast. I be believe there's going to be some sort of sudden change, a sudden entrance or something like that. It could be dealing with a fire sign. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius could also be dealing with a Gemini. Um, with Gemini a couple times. So you definitely could be dealing with a Gemini. Anyhow, there is some sort of separation here. Things are going to change really, 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 really fast. Whoever you're dealing with is a creator. This person uh, is very skilled at whatever they do. They may have a connection to source. Somebody here has, the, the magician has a connection to source. So I do believe that um, there is going to be some movement this week. Somebody's going to be uh, separating from a partnership that they're not compatible with. And they do have something entering, um, something very passionate. Okay, so there is some sort of entrance here, moving in a new direction as well. Knight of Wands. This is somebody that is very passionate, that is um, moving in a new direction. Ooh. Ooh. Six of Pentacles reversed. So there's been an abuse of generosity here. Somebody has been treated unfairly. There's been some unfair treatment. Um, there's been a lack of reciprocation. Somebody, there's been some sort of um, one-sidedness. Somebody hasn't gotten what they deserve. And I do believe we have an action-oriented person that is, uh, I don't know, maybe they're causing some sort of conflict. I mean, we have these sixes. They're both reversed. This is lack of harmony, lack of, lack of, uh, sixes are a troublesome situation. Somebody is in, in some sort of troublesome situation where there's an imbalance of some sort. There's no harmony. There's... There's been an abuse of power. Somebody has abused their power. They've abused somebody's generosity. And I feel like there's going to be some sort of uh, movement this week. Action is being taken. Action is being taken this week. Uh, there it is. Action. Because this is, these are both action. Action is being taken. Six of Pentacles reversed is a fraud. It's a con. This is somebody that is... Um, has abused their somebody's generosity, right? They have. Somebody has abused another person's generosity. Oh my goodness. I don't know why these people won't stop. Anyhow, um, action is going to be taken. Sudden action. Something sudden. There is something, a sudden change here. Something could be taken away. Something could be taken away suddenly. Somebody could lose a job or they could be losing a position. <laughs> it could be a position. It could be, a, this is a position. So somebody could be losing a position. Um, could have something to do with a job. There is a partnership that is not compatible. And there's going to be a detachment. And it's going to happen very, very suddenly.
Ooh, there's a higher power involved. This is God. Okay, this is a higher power that is involved. Um, may have something to do with the government or a government agency or a church or um, an establishment. Could be a corporation. This could be a job related. It could definitely be job related. Anyhow, there is some sort of somebody that is in a position of authority. And the Hierophant is the highest authority. Could be dealing with a Taurus. Could also be God. Okay. There is somebody that is in a position of authority that is, uh, is this is a blessing. Somebody is receiving a blessing. I just saw a blessing. They're going to be receiving a blessing. They are blessed. They are protected. There's a divine connection here. There's a, there's a direct connection to God. Oh my God. There is. There is a direct connection to God here. And God, it's interesting because God sees all. God sees all. So there is, there's a, there's a higher power here that sees somebody's, it feels like reckless behavior. I feel like there's somebody that is moving very fast. They're doing something because maybe they're hurting over a partnership. They're moving very fast. They may have intentions on fighting with somebody or whatever. Uh, there's some sort of higher power that is involved. Huh. That is protecting somebody from an individual that has no staying power. This person has nothing to offer. This person is fly by the seat of their pants. Does things without thinking. Somebody is being protected from a partnership that is not compatible where this person just does things without thinking. This is guidance. Somebody is receiving, maybe it's intuition, they're receiving some sort of guidance from somebody that is very, very spiritual, that is divinely connected. Somebody is going to be receiving some guidance. That it's time to go somewhere. You know, it's time to go. It's time to go. Right now, it's time to go. But this is, this is uh, an abuse of power, an abuse of generosity. This is somebody that... is taking something. They're taking something. You could be dealing with a manipulator as well, somebody that is very, very manipulative. Somebody is going to be losing something. They are going to be losing something. It could just be money. It could be money or... You know, they could be getting a pay cut or they're losing a job, losing a position of some sort. Ah, lack of success. Somebody has been blocking, there's a roadblock, their own success. They've been blocking their own success. And because they need an attitude adjustment. I just want to fight. I want to prove myself. I want to prove. I want to fight. And therefore, you know, the universe or God, you know, acts in mysterious ways. So you don't have success fighting all the time. So somebody is not going to have a successful outcome because they are stuck in the present. They're refusing to focus on the future. This is somebody who is flogging a dead horse that is stuck in the past, hanging on to their previous wounds. This is somebody that is hanging on to their previous wounds. And it's time to give it up. It is time to stop trying to hold on there and fight for a position where it's a constant battle. It is a constant battle. So there's a lack of success here. We have somebody here that needs to complete a cycle in their life, but they're refusing to change. This is somebody that is resisting change. They're resisting their new life. They are. But they have the opportunity right now to go down that other path, but they are so wounded from the past and they have that victim mentality where they feel like they need to fight everything to prove this is somebody that doesn't know their value that feels like they need to prove their value constantly and it's caused them a lot of disfaction with life so anyway I feel like this week there's going to be an unsuccessful outcome with the world card reverse we have somebody here that keeps repeating the same mistakes over and over and over again. This is somebody who has not learned their lesson yet. 
They have not learned their lesson yet, unfortunately. And there's a higher power involved here that has some sort of divine connection, okay? It is what it is. It is what it is. There is there is some sort of protection here. There's we have we have somebody here that has is getting exactly what they asked for. They have manifested. Some of you have manifested a new commitment. If you are single and you are watching this, say you're single and you're watching this. Let me change this story a minute. You're single. You're working on yourself. You're go, you've went down that other path. There is somebody headed in because there is somebody headed in that you could end up marrying. Okay? If you are in a coupled relationship, you're not married yet, you could be getting a proposal. This comes after a separation. It does come after a separation, after a detachment from a false contract. Okay, this is a false contract, and that is detaching from a false contract that's not compatible, where there's no harmony, where there's no love. So there is going to be a detachment from a false contract, and there is an arrival, okay, that leads to marriage, that leads to commitment. This is what you asked for. So somebody is going to be getting a commitment that they asked for after they separate from a partnership that is not compatible at all. It's not meant to be. That was protection. Rejection is God's protection. But we also have somebody over here that is flogging a dead horse that has not learned their lessons. The world card reversed. That is somebody that is stuck in the present or stuck in the past and they just want to fight and they want to hold on and they need to give up or they're just going to continue to have dissatisfaction with life. The choice is yours. Do you want to continue to be stuck in the present and keep repeating this life over and over and over again? Keep repeating these same mistakes, fighting, 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 fighting? Or do you want peace and harmony and commitment? The choice is yours. You have an opportunity for success here. You do with that magician card. But you have to take action. You have to go down the right path, not the wrong path. The choice is yours. If you don't learn from your mistakes and you want to keep proving yourself constantly, you're going to continue to be dissatisfied. So anyway, I do believe that there is going to be, um, well, there is a takeaway here. There is a takeaway with this, with this Six of Pentacles reversed. Um, something is going to happen really, really fast that... Um, Somebody could be leaving without saying goodbye. There could be no goodbye. It may hurt you. You know, I'm just saying because this is like no closure. And then you get this three of swords, which is pain. It's hurt. This is uh, uh, wounded. So I do feel like there we, you have to choose to focus on the future and let go of the past. You have an opportunity for success. If you can separate from this false contract, this is the end of a contract, either way, with the lover's reverse, that is the end of a contract. Consider it protection. Somebody is being protected. That's why the contract is ending. So anyway, um, yeah. So I feel like this week there's going to be an event that guides you down a new path. Good luck.